just four years of politics, Jody McKay has been the member for Newcastle, Minister for the Hunter, Minister for Women, Minister for Tourism and Minister for Science and Medical Research. Fantastic next member for uh, uh, Strathfield. Former Premier Morris Yemmer personally endorsed her for the seat of Newcastle. She served under Nathan Rees as Premier, but it wasn't until Nathan Tinkler approached her that she faced an ICAC inquiry. Tinkler offered to bankroll her election campaign in 2011 in support for a coal loading project in Newcastle. McKay told him she could not accept his money because he was a banned donor. Tinkler told her he had hundreds of people working for him that could get around the rules. In 2014, she was elected as the Labour candidate for the seat of Strathfield. Uh, look, I think it's important that uh, politics uh, becomes what people expect it to be. So obviously there's been um, some discussion about willful misconduct in, uh, in politics and uh, people are disengaged and they're disillusioned. And I actually think that politics should be better than what it is and that is important in terms of engaging the community. So I'm standing uh, as a result of the Independent Commission Against Corruption's hearings, obviously, which exposed the corruption in Newcastle. I walked out of those hearings and as I said I thought politics should be better than what it was. Um, I'm very fortunate and I have a, an amazing community here in which I live and it's a diverse and dynamic community and I'd be really proud to represent this community. She resisted the bribe and informed ICAC and the police. Tinkler and his company Buildev, together with McKay's colleague Joe Tripodi and his staffers were then involved in a pamphlet smear campaign that saw McKay lose the seat of Newcastle. McKay was in tears in the ICAC witness box as confirmation of what she long suspected had come to light. Can Jodie McKay win back the seat of Strathfield from the Liberal Party? The current New South Wales government is proposing asset sell-off in electricity. Oh, there's no doubt about it whatsoever, the sell-off of our most valuable income producing asset, the New South Wales electricity distribution network is by far the most important issue. Jody McKay is campaigning on these platforms in an attempt to be re-elected to state parliament. And the overwhelming response we get from the public is that they don't want their network sold. It's in 2015, even though she was not a member of parliament, Luke Foley appointed Jody McKay to the Shadow Ministry as opposition planning spokeswoman. Today, Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews has flown to Sydney to support Jody McKay in her election campaign. The moment of truth will again be revealed for Jody McKay, but it won't be in front of ICAC. The people of Strathfield will determine if Jody McKay becomes a rising star in the Labour Party or if she's reduced to the scrap heap, like many of her colleagues in recent Barry times. Barry O'Farrell wasn't privatising enough things. Nathan Tinkler has now filed for bankruptcy and his company Buildev have pleaded guilty to tax offences. Joe Tripodi, along with his colleagues, is facing criminal charges for corruption. The Labour Party may not have won the election, but there is a bright star on the horizon from within. Jody McKay was re-elected back to power, winning the seat of Stratford.